Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here, and this is a yarn quest. I um, went out the other day and I was passing um, a shop that I've been to a couple of times already. And um, last time I spoke to Hayley, uh, the lady who owns the shop, she said that she was going to be um, knocking through to the other shop. She'd, she'd got that option to rent that one as well. And she was going to do it because half the shop was always taken up by other crafts. Now, um, I just looked, my bill is just a collection of numbers. It's not really, doesn't tell me what it is. So I know some of her yarns didn't have prices on, so I'm going to don't know <laughs> what they are some of them but um the, i was relying on the bill but never mind i did buy a few things i didn't go crazy because as you might know i've recently just been buying yarn uh from other places so with this yarn i will make um stuff with some of this but if i buy stuff that's over and above uh what i need then i put it into my mystery boxes and um, my mystery gift bags that I have and I also sometimes just you know do it in giveaways so um, it's never really gone gone to waste but I did buy things that I thought I might actually use for me so the first one that I saw I just had to get this because I've been trying to see what this was like for quite some time because I do have Wendy yarns in my shop hobbybox.co.uk and um, I've never really bought this because so many yarn companies are doing the same thing. They're, they all seem to be the same, whether it's Aurora or Paintbox Splash by Robin <clears throat> or um, a multitude of different brands all have this yarn, which seemed to start a um, long, long time ago with Serdar and Hayfield making the um the hayfield spirit along these lines but since then a multitude of other colors have come out i absolutely love this one um but this is called wendy giggles so it's another one of those yarns that are the, all very very similar but there are just subtle differences in the color but wendy and peter pan are the same kind of brand um but the, and Robin used to be, but it's not anymore. But Robin also has this yarn. <laughs> so it's kind of very confusing. But I wanted to see what the Wendy Giggles was like. I'm trying to like put it back because it they do tend to flop open. Anyway, let's get in and have a look, shall we? Upside down. So it is Wendy Giggles, as I said. What does that say? Made to make you smile. It's a DK weight, so a three weight yarn, 100 grams. You can cool tumble dry this and cool wash and a cool iron even. OK, um, and you can dry clean it. So let's have a look a bit further down, upside down. Well, let's do it the other way around. This just is a really boring colour name of WG16. And I paid £2.50 per ball of this, which wasn't a bad price, but Wendy... Um, are not um, the company that they kind of used to be. They're up and coming again. They're bringing out a few bits and pieces here and there. But this is identical to the Robin Paintbox Splash, to the uh, Aurora yarn that I showed a little while ago and I'd been putting in my mystery boxes. Um, that's all the same. <laughs> it's absolutely... Perpatia, Hayfield Spirit, they are very much, well, alike. That's all I can say. But the, these are gorgeous colours. I mean, look at that. Absolutely breathtaking and sunny and makes you think of summer and spring. So, yeah. But it is lovely and soft. Um, beautiful. I can't I can't fault that. Um, <clears throat> I used to like some of the Wendy yarns, not all of them. They do heavily go towards having wool content and can't always have wool content because of my allergy but um, it depends if it's very light wool content and I'm all right with it it's just if they have quite a lot and it's scratchy feeling you know that's when I can't do it so I do stock James C Brett Flutterby I've not bought any of the newer colors but I did buy some while I was out shopping at the barn that I went to and a place before 
So when I see them and I like the colour, I'll buy myself a few balls. But I haven't actually bought any new colours for my shop because I don't feel that James C. Brett Flutterby actually sells that quite that well. Um, you have a little run on it and then it will stop. So for me, it's not one of those that I... And I just dropped the price quite dramatically at one point. I still didn't sell it. So um, what I've got is what I've got and I'm not really... Um, up for it but this is beautiful uh, I hope the colour comes out as it is because it's really beautiful it's like a, a kind of a would you say plum mulberry red wine um, it's got a kind of a mauve -y. if I hold it back here this is the colour but it is a beautiful kind of chenille yarn they're always ultra ridiculously soft they are I think by far the best chenille that I've ever worked with. Um, when Aldi did a yarn event once, they had some baby chenille that had a lovely sheen to it and it rivaled this. Um, but they don't do that very often. And if they do it, they tend to have the more sturdy Bernat type chenille, you know. But this is absolute squish fest. So 100 grams of James Seabrett Flutterby uh, 175 metres, 192 yards, 100% super soft polyester, 30 degree wash. You can't iron it and all that jazz, but you can dry clean it. Now this colour is B52, like the bomber. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I love it. So I bought myself a couple because I thought I might make myself a scarf or a hat or something like that with this. So, um, mm sumptuous it really is i shouldn't do that because the fibers do tend to, to tickle my nose so i maybe should not have done that it wasn't my finest um thought that um didn't hear how much that was but um they're always around about three pound ish i don't think there's a price ticket on it there isn't and as i, I showed you this was my receipt <coughs> excuse me just numbers so i can't really tell you what that was they're around about three to four pounds, though, usually. So then I wanted to see what this was like as well. I've not been a fan of the James Seabrett Twinkle. It's very nice to look at when you see it sideways on on the skin. They absolutely look lovely. But when you start working with them, the stripes, um, whether you knit or crochet, they do not have any sort of rhyme or reason to the striping and I did buy some real bright sh sort of rainbow shiny one at one point everybody said when I unbox it oh that's lovely but when I tried to use it it just did not work up nice and um, it was just a collection of colours that had no order and so um, I think I just when I did that bundle of yarns and gave them to the charity shop I think I included that in there but this one's different this is James C. Brett Twinkle, um, it does help to have a light on, doesn't it? Print. So it's got a lovely little glitz to it, but it's just got these subtle dots. So you can't really go far wrong with that. Um, now my light is flaring. I don't understand it, but it did it the other day. There we are. I don't know what it's going on about, why it's doing that. It's just beyond me. It must be picking up suddenly the glare of that glitz. I don't know. But there you can see it's got a lovely subtle glitz to it. And it's got these pretty little dots. So this was quite inexpensive. It was £3.30. And for your 100 grams, you get 66% acrylic, 29% polyamide and 5% polyester. You can machine wash this to 30 degrees and dry clean it. And it does knit to all DK patterns well. It also crochets, thank you very much. So metres are 270 and yards are 294. And there's no lovely name because it's James C. Brett. They just give you like BTP26, which, you know, it doesn't take much to think of a name, does it? They could employ me to think of names. I think of something better than that. But yeah, this is squishy, squishy, soft. It's absolutely lovely. I can't remember how much I paid for Twinkle before, but this is Twinkle Prince, which is basically the only one that I'd get. I won't get the others. I just feel that they're messy. They they 
knit or crochet in a mess you know it's not it's not nice nope sorry if you like it if you have if you do like it <clears throat> why <laughs> i'm joking you know some people some people like other things you know but this is quite nice now i did have some of this in my shop but i've sold out of magic knit this is lovely this is a james c brett yarn it's magic knit it is gorgeous it's also magic crochet thank you very much why do they always miss us out why i don't know squishy squishy soft lovely beautiful blues um i got the blues because there's a baby boy going to be born in the family so i probably will make a few bits and pieces bits and bobs sorry i know that you do like it or the few of you like it when i say bits and bobs and i didn't say it so sorry about that bits and bobs i will make 70 no it's not liar it's 90 percent acrylic and 10 percent nylon 30 degrees you can dry clean it but that's all 100 grams will give you a very very faint 300 meters uh, and the shade is y402 very pretty color actually i really like this one that's not all i got but i just need to show you the yarn boobies on this one isn't it gorgeous i love blues as you all know i'm a blue freak i do love the blues but um yeah i don't know what it'll work up like i'm hoping beautifully but the magic knit i had before was really nice and it flew out the door and i haven't ordered it since because i only really did one recent order with james c brett for something else ah yeah and i'm swatching them up at the moment or some of them and that is the um swirly whirlies which are incredible incredible i've got a bit of knotty hair been outside so where's my neck light gone let's find it then i got this and this is for me and this is by robin and i was just blown away by the color it was the color that attracted me to it and the fact that it's a nice thick looks like super chunky yeah a super chunky so a bulky six super bulky it is um a really moody lovely blue it's looking more bluey in the in my reflection here that i'm seeing it's it's not it's this color it's kind of almost gloomy but bright if you know what i mean <laughs> it's almost almost gloomy but not quite it's a super chunky 100 gram we have um hmm, where are you 100 percent acrylic no um they just like to put it in all these different places don't they and all these different ways are up, making it look like it's upside down Product number is 1692. Thank you very much for the most boring product number. Um, super chunky. I'm not finding it. Where's the metres? It's got to be here somewhere. Uh, that's a millimetres of hook. Ah, there we go. 80 metres, 87 yards. Sorry, it was very faint and blue on blue or blue on turquoise tea or whatever you want to call it so i got two of those because i really liked that color now did i tell you how much the magic knit was i don't think i did but then again i don't know that there's a price on either of them no <clears throat> so that's why i didn't it's one of those numbers that's on the on the receipt but there they are these i love these so i got two of this color and these were very inexpensive at oh my goodness that's she needs some new ink in her thingy. One ninety nine they were. So I got those two and I got one really dark blue. It is very, very midnight blue. I thought it looked quite nice together um, as a little accent colour, but it is really dark blue. There you go. It's kind of an Oxford blue, if you like. But all of the info, apart from the colour number, is exactly the same. And the colour number, can I see it? <laughs> can i find it here it is it's tiny upside down of course it is um 1692 product code shade 0043 not very imaginative are they these things anyway then i bought this one and gary said oh get another one why don't you get two and i said well i don't think i need two because if i get this it's more of an edge in than it is anything else i don't think i'm like Although, I, I mean, I could just go make a scarf out of it, but they tickle. And that's this. Isn't it 
it's like a, one of those ugly dogs, isn't it? That are all fur, and then you look at their face, and they're all wonky. <laughs> maybe it's just me that thinks so. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This is four pound fifty. It is a hundred grams though, and you have to hand wash it. Unfortunately, uh, ninety meters, ninety eight point four yards, and it is ninety percent super. Price is in the way. Super soft nylon and 10 cent polyester see reverse for scarf instructions <laughs> i made scarves with this stuff and the scarf instructions are just knit every single stitch and hope you don't drop one because basically you're not going to see any pattern with this it's just fur and it they do knit up lovely you can crochet with them i can i can do it but i understand why people say they can't because it is difficult to find your stitch i can see where my stitch should be and i can feel it with my fingers so it's not braille and um I'd, I'd have no trouble um crocheting with it you have to pay attention whether you knit or crochet it's not one of those things you can do and watch tv it's kind of a pay attention especially if you're knitting and drop that stitch you are never ever finding it again you have to undo it and hope you can frog because that's another issue they don't frog too easy these sort of things in fact sometimes it's an impossibility so how much was this did i tell you already four pound fifty i did i think but it is lovely now the only problem with this is if i do use it as an edging <clears throat> then it does say hand wash only so if i were to put the actual thing i've made in the machine then that wouldn't do this any favors so that's the only problem it's not say comparable if i used another yarn that was more durable then this might suffer so um i don't know what i'm gonna do with it what i'm gonna edge but it isn't it just gorgeous they had other colors in there as well but that one was the one that tickled my fancy i've got something very similar to this from I think the chinchilla yarn. Do you remember chinchilla? I had quite a bit of that in that in the yarn van. So that's what I got. Um, now all the details of the shop and everything else are in the description box below. The the the, the part where the yarn used to be, um, it's still the same shop because there was just a little bit of yarn at the back, like a little ante room, if you like. Now that's all next door. But she does do knitting groups in there. Um, and at the moment, they're so busy and she's doing so kind of brisk trade that um, she's got a waiting list for her knitting groups. And um, I think I did ask her and she said she that's £1.50, but that's just for like drinks and stuff like that um, for when people are there. So, yeah, doing really well. And um, I must say, I like it. It's nice and bright and clean. And her kids are working for us. I like that as well. Get get the kids off their butts. <laughs> I'm working now. But yeah, it's, it's very nice in there. And not only that, if she's watching, you've got a lovely... I should have said your hair looked really nice. Because um, it's how I had mine during lockdown. You know, when I parted it there and I did the bottom all kind of um, dark purple on the top <laughs> was lockdown hair that was for me but um yeah i won't be doing it again i found it hard to get it out so uh yeah thanks for watching anyway and uh i hope you enjoyed it and uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell let me know what yarn you liked i mean there was so much more i could have got and chosen but you know i did have rather a lot still left over from the last couple of visits and um you know every time i go out and buy yarn it's just got to go somewhere and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.